Welcome to this special edition of Cake Baking. My name is Mr. Nefiok Steven Ekanem. I am the Managing Director of Fina Cake Services. I'm a graduate of Business Administration. I graduated from Olabisi Onaba University in Ogun State. I am a farmer. I am here to teach you how you can use your hand and stove and bake a cake. In our class today, we want to teach how to make sponge cake. In making of sponge cake, we have major recipe, which I am going to show to you. Here with me, I have my flour. You guys can see. I have my butter. I have my sugar, then I have baking powder, I have egg, then I have a pinch of salt, then I have browning, I have my evaporated milk, then I have my flavor. Then here I have my mixed fruits. The mixed fruit is always soaked with alcohol for like a week or two weeks before you bake your cake. The equipment that you should use in making your cake are one, you need your pan, you need your pots, you need your stove, you need your scales, you need your wooden spoon, you need your number spoon and a bowl, a sieve, your measuring cup. Then I have my tape with me. The function of the tape is for you to measure the pan and know the size that you are going to use. So here I'm using size 8. For your cake to come out very well, you need a proper measurement. And this is what we are going to do today. In our size 8 cake, we are going to use 400 grams of flour. We are going to use 400 grams of our butter. Then we use 200 grams of sugar. Then our eggs, we will use 8 eggs. Then baking powder, we will use 2 tablespoons. Let's go for the measurement. Come with me. Make sure you place your a pan on your scale at the zero points. Okay? Then take your sieve. Don't just measure it 200, but sieve it and have 200. Or rather 400 because without saving it the amount of flour will be too much and you will not have the proper results Dry ingredients separate. Mix it. Keep that one aside. Okay. 
So the third ingredient you are going to measure is our butter. And remember I told you it's going to be 400 grams. Let's check. That's our 400. Then you put it on your board. Okay. The fourth one is sugar. We are going to have 200 grams, okay? That's our 200 grams of sugar. Then you mix it, okay, with your butter. process starts. Like I told you, we are going to use our hand to mix it. We are not using machine, just our hand. So this is how the process starts. We will mix it until we have a creamed paste. Remember, if you are turning clockwise, you are using clockwise. But if you are turning the other way around, you use the other way around until you finish it. You don't mix it up. So we are going. So you keep turning anti-clockwise. Okay. Well, you can see, as I said, it will give you a paste. Okay. So, it can take you for like between 30 minutes and 35 minutes. Okay. To get these results. So, you are going to mix other recipes so that we have our cake preparation. Um, Make sure that your stove is ready. You have a matches there. So I want to break my egg now. Okay. So, look at your fork. And make sure you have a small bowl or a plastic or a, a plate that you're going to use it. So I, I make sure you washed your egg very well to avoid sand. Then you now turn it to a bigger bowl, a bigger plastic, one after the other. The reason of doing this one after the other is because of the spoiled egg. So that you will not spoil the remaining egg. So we're repeating the process. Until you complete. The number of eggs that you want to use. Okay. We are almost there. Don't do all at once, because you never can tell the bad egg among all of them. All right. So. Keep turning. Keep turning. 
until you have the foam, until the foam comes up between maybe let's say seven to ten minutes. Okay. When you've done that, then you are going to preheat your pot. Okay, that's what we are going to do now. Because we will not have more time, okay, to wait. setting your stuff until you have a blue flame okay and that's what we are doing okay and I'm preheat all right so while we are waiting for our pots then we are going to um, put our recipe. Okay. So the first thing here, you are going to put your egg, okay, bit by bit, not all at once. Okay, turn it. it by bits. We are taking our flour. Keep turning it. Turning it. Keep 
take it gently. Okay. You can turn your wooden spoon in any direction. Right, so the next thing that we are going to apply now is our evaporator milk. Okay. So I'll use a half cup. Turn it very gently. Turn it very gently. can see the texture all right so we want to add our flavor uh, flavor here i have a butterscotch so i'm going to put one cup then i have my vanilla Cup. It depends on the kind of flavor that you want. There are different flavors. But why using this, while making sponge cake, I prefer using my vanilla and butterscotch. Okay. So I'm greasing my pan, my butter, to grease it. I do this because when I want to remove it, it will be easy for me to remove it without my cake sticking to the pan. So I use a little flour. Now you can see. All right. So the final thing that I'm going to put now is my mixed fruits that I have already soaked with alcohol. 
So some people, some customers, prefer using something different to soak it, like lemon, lemon juice or so. You can use that one to soak. The alcohol also serves as a preservative method. So I put one eighth of the alcohol. Okay, so I keep turning it. So I, like I said, I have my browning and also have my red swatch. It's also a color that you can design, you can put it in any how you want to make your cake to be. If you want different colors, you can also apply different colors. The color is edible, okay? So I put part of it. Then, like I said, I want to apply it very small. The color is edible. Okay. So I just look for a section. Turn it. I pour that section on my pan. So we are putting our brown in. We want to have three different colors in our cake. I have another section in my pan. Can you use your hand to scope all the mixed cake into your pan? Remember, okay, that's very good. So remember, inside your pots, you are going to put some stone or whatever that will protect the back of your pan, that the heat will not come direct to the pots and to the pan. So here I have my, very hot. Here I have my stone. Now, before you bake your cake, remember that you are going to put some stone or some anything that will protect the heat, not heating direct from the pots, okay? So that's why I have my stone inside. Or we are going to bake our cake, all of us. So this is how I do it. Okay. Then try to cover it up. Make sure that you have covered it very well so that there will be no evaporation. Okay? So we are going to wait for between 30 minutes and 40 minutes. You can see how the cake is doing. Like I said earlier, we want to see how the cake is being done. Okay? So come with me.
Wow. Okay, it's around, she will have 35 minutes sharp. Okay. Uh, we still have like five minutes to go. Okay. So. Okay, we want to see if our cake is done. Okay. After 40 minutes. The process of checking of the cake is you use your knife. Okay, to dip in. And if you break it out, nothing stains. That means our cake is done. Come with me, let's go there. Like I said, if you dip your knife or your toothpick and it comes up straight, you can see. So the cake is done. We are going to take our cake down, okay? Remember to use a napkin so that the heat will not burn you. Wow. Okay, now we are going to decorate our cake with fondant, okay? Then before we do that, I want to introduce to you the recipe that we are going to use and decorate your fondant. Here, I have my glucose. I have my CMC, okay? I have my gelatin. We have our flavor, butterscotch. These are our colors. Okay, we have royal blue, we have green, and we have peach. Then I have your glycerin and our icing sugar. Then I have your water. Okay, I also have your butter. I'm going to run around the cake. Then the instrument that I'm going to use to decorate my cake. Here, I have my rolling pin. I have my knife, pallet knife. I have my smoother. This is my measuring spoon. And while these are measuring cups. I have my brush. I have my sieve. I have my cake board, then I have my scales, okay? Um, you have a plate, make sure you have your stove and a pot as well, right? Then here, you can use a table that the surface is very smooth, okay? A carpenter can do this one for you where you can use to you know, make your fondant. So that is what we have now. So let's go into practice and I'll give you the measurement. For our size cake that we just made. So I'm giving you the recipe, the, the measurement that you are going to use. Glucose is going to be a half cup. While icing sugar is going to be 700 grams. Then our gelatin is going to be three teaspoons. Then our CMC will be two teaspoon. Then our glycerin is going to be one teaspoon, or you can put two, depends. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go for the practical. But before you do that, you have to make sure that you put light in your stove and put a pot that you are going to heat for some time while you are trying to mix other recipe. Okay, let's do it. Before you do any other thing, make sure you have your stove on with light. Then you boil your water, okay? Because we are going to use this water to dissolve our gelatin and glucose, okay? Then while you are doing that, you take your pan, a small size, seven plates like this, but let's be standards, okay? Like I told you, water is going to be three tablespoons. So you measure it. One, two, three. That is the first process. So you go to, to gelatin.
3 teaspoons. Remember, you level it. You sprinkle it. So the measurement differs from the number, the size of cake that you are making. That's two. Three. You keep it for some time, for like five minutes, or less than five minutes. So why waiting? for gelatin to dissolve. So it's very hard. So you take your half cups of your glucose. Have it there. So you take your spoon, you will turn it. Then remember, I told you that we are going to put one or two tablespoons of our last serine. I put one. So I turn my half cups of glucose. Take it up and put it. Remember to take something to, so that it heats. Okay. I want to dissolve it. Take it very gently so that the water will not. Okay. Keep turning it. Keep turning it until the whole thing dissolved. Turning it. Okay. So while turning it, you bring your scale. Okay. You can control your heat. You can off your heat. 
Okay, allow it to be there while you are trying to measure your icing sugar. Okay, you take your sieve. This is already 500 grams. So we are looking for 700 grams. Well dissolved. Make sure that your arrow is at the zero point. So you save it. Remember, we are looking for 700 grams. That's the measurement for our cake. You can remove your okay. yes. so we'll keep it somewhere. Okay. You see so that you have some particles left. Without sifting, this will come into your work and it will not give you the result that you are looking for. So when you sieve it, it will make the air to penetrate. That's almost 700. So we are there. You throw away your particles. Make sure your working table is clean. So the process continues. So we are going to add our flavor. One cup or one tablespoon. One teaspoon, sorry. So, you divide your icing sugar into two, like what I'm going to do. Then you have one left. Then you make a hole on it. Pour it. Not all at once, one after the other. Start running it. You can put your CMC at the beginning or after. Okay. But I would like to apply my own in this very one. So let's go. Take it very gently. Very gently. Very gently. Make it very gently. Keep folding it, mixing it. Okay. 
Yes. It's a fun work, you know, while you are doing it. It's fun. And when you master it, you enjoy what you are doing. Some people ask me, how do you just manage to become a caterer, you know, baking care and all that? That is for women. I say, well, it's about my, you know, I have passion for it. So, you too, you can do it. See, I've exhausted all my icing sugar on my board. Okay, so like I said before, I'm going to add my CMC. Okay, so that my fondant will not break. Okay, that is two teaspoons. I mix it with my icing sugar. Okay. I keep on taking it. Okay. Mixing it. Gently. Gently. everything on it. You can see it's big in size. You keep on kneading it. You can see you keep increasing in size. Okay. Oh, we are almost there. So what I'm going to do, I'll divide it, okay, because of how we are going to do it. So I keep this one in the nylon. Make sure you cover it very well so that the air will not penetrate. Keep it somewhere. You always, always make sure that you have some icing sugar on the surface of your board, okay, so that the fondant will not stick on it. Then we are going to apply our rolling pin. This is the process. Take the other side. This 
mulțumesc mult. done with this one. I pick some. We have some left. Because I'm still good to make use of it. You are this place. Okay. Make sure you are keep it very clean. Okay. Smooth. Don't decide. on our cake. So 
reduce your butter. So that your cake will stick to the fondant. Cake pot close to the cake, and then lift it up and centralize it. Okay. Okay. Need to clean my hand. So. And drop it at the center. Then you unfold it to this side, just like we did when we fold it. Okay. Wow. Start from the top down and make it please make sure you are very gentle. You don't need to rush it. Because if you rush it, the fondant will tear. And if it tears, you cannot use again because already the cake has stained inside it. So you want to trim the edges, okay? So To apply colors okay, and to design it. So take some, some left. Okay, you mix it. Okay. Mix it. 
Okay. Continue it. Mix it until the color enters everywhere. Okay. So I'll keep it. Take another one. So we take our peach color. world mixed. So I keep it. So I want to apply my green color. Make some flowers. Flatten the edges. on the edges. Right. 
So I'm going to take my white fondant. Okay. You can use any color of your choice. Depends on what you want to do. your fingers to roll it. Join the two heads together.
So you try to cover the two joining between the cake and the cake board. Use your fondant and decorate it. Okay. So you pick up your desired color that you want. Okay. Continue knead it until it is soft. Okay. And you want to do mushroom. Okay. You can design anything you want to design. It can be fruits. Anything you think of you can design. It. Okay. Design an orange, apple, even pineapple. This is a work of a ketra. You think of something and design what you want to design. Okay. So this is our mushroom. Okay. You can put it here. In the flower there. We have come to the end of our teaching, a cake manual making. This is the color I choose and the design I choose. You too can choose your own personal design and your own personal color. Follow the recipe and the process, you will make your cake, even in your own house. You don't need to go and look up many things, just use your hand, you can do it. If you have the passion, you can do it. To learn more on this, the number is there on your screen. Call us today, send us an email. You can visit us in our place. We are going to guide you and direct you on how to do it. Thank you and remain blessed.